Dev Noodles is a YouTuber that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, well first of all where are my manners welcome back to a brand new video my amigos and amigas hope you're doing well so if you guys don't know who Def Noodles is he's the worst comedian sorry I take that back Amy Schumer exists Def Noodles is one of the worst comedians I have ever seen a Jimmy Dory right before him folks that doesn't mean anything just because Def Noodles has performed in comedy clubs doesn't mean he actually knows anything about comedy if anything it means he knows less about comedy because everybody knows that comedy is dead that's why before the pandemic started people were paying money to go into clubs and laugh all night <laughs> how'd you win your career just a little You're supposed to hold me down you look like you woke up in a dumpster <laughs> probably You're like my cousin if you were a girl. Thank you. I bet you cried when you got those tattoos. I did. I did. Are you from Detroit? And I am not kidding when I say I've been wanting to talk about Def Noodles for at least a year and a half. And the moment never came. I was busy doing other stuff. And it's finally time I get to clown on the worst comedian the biggest crybaby on youtube and that's saying a lot and if you guys don't know who Def noodles is it's this news guy who clickbaits on every single one of his videos there's a difference between wanting to engage the viewer and to click in your video and just flat out lying i started having an issue when he made this video jim carrey exposed a new shocking footage as soon as i saw it was a Def noodles video i knew this is cap but i just wanted to give him one last time the benefit of the doubt and well this is a video folks Welcome folks, hope you're all doing amazing today. We are just days away from the roast. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you want to get a behind the scenes look at everything that we're doing to get ready for the roast, make sure you sign up for channel memberships where you will be able to get access to not only exclusive behind the scenes content, but also weekly live streams where I show you everything going on in my new studio. No one cares. Well, Papa John recently made a huge announcement. See, Papa John's new pizza bowls, just toppings, no crust. I guess Papa John's realized they couldn't reinvent the wheel, so they just decided to reinvent a salad instead. How daring of them. Is it me or does it seem like he's not having fun? Like he's been forced at gunpoint to film this video. That's the impression I get from this guy. The video quality looks like shit. You look like you haven't showered in months. And the content is just whack. You know it's this little news day when you're talking about Papa John's pizza and how the crust is extra thick or whatever the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> Like, if you have nothing to say for that day, don't upload. There's a general thought that there could be a little bit of pizza fatigue. Who could have known that eating carbs could result in fatigue of all sorts? The Papa Bowl comes in three varieties, garden veggie, chicken alfredo, and Italian meats trio. How daring of Papa John to be serving three Italian meats in one meal? I don't know if people could take that much sausage. Is this guy okay? Like, I know mentally he's probably not, considering some of the jokes he says. Why would anyone watch this? Like, seriously, why would anyone waste their time watching this? At least pretend you care about the video topic. This is just you clickbaiting, being annoying as shit. And trust me, you're not a comedian. You will never be a comedian. Your comedy sucks. That is coming from someone who couldn't go live on stage to save his life. But at least I'm not charging people for it or telling everyone that I'm a fucking comedian. Please go back to your old shit. You are doing pretty well for yourself. Your fans hate you. You've lost thousands of subscribers. I believe you lost 20,000. I don't know if you're snorting cocaine now that you're in LA. I don't know what's going on with you, but you are the worst comedian I've ever seen. And you're ruining your life video by video every Every single time you upload, and it's been three weeks, dude. Every single time you upload, you lose subscribers. And now, <laughs> another news. Can someone check on Jim Carrey's neck? I'm pretty sure most humans are not meant to literally move like a Tootsie Roll when dancing. Tell Carrey, what is your birthday? Tell Carrey, what is your birthday? You no, know, I love that clip, but did 50 just call Jim Carrey Drew Carrey? Not that there is anything wrong with that. I just don't know how 50 didn't fall into deep slumber. Uh, yeah, that was the new shocking resurfaced video of Jim Carrey. <laughs> like, you're losing the plot, my dude. You are losing the plot. If there's something that I hate besides his content, his annoying thumbnails, the fact that he actually thinks he's a real comedian but couldn't tell a joke to save his life, I'm bobbing so bad, and I don't give a fuck. Neither do I, bro. Come on, we in it together, doggy. Huh? Hey, you got don't dimples spray. too. That's what's up. 
<laughs> yeah. You want to make out? No. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> uh, that's why I asked. <laughs> so you're a lesbian by choice. I just hate how fucking bored he sounds. At least try to sound a bit energized, but you legitimately look and sound like you don't want to be there and someone is forcing you to record these videos because if you don't record them, they're going to kill all of your family in Brazil. And he makes video after video after video clickbaiting and video after video of him addressing the new allegations and then addressing the tweet that got me cancelled. This man is um, losing it. My apology for blackface. <laughs> He was doing pretty well about two months ago, but I just wanted to take a look at this video addressing the new allegations. Often responded with tongue in cheek comments, jokes and bits. I don't think that my message is really getting through to the people that have been the most vocal. So I'm going to respond to some comments that exemplify some of the more popular things people have been saying in my comments. So let's get to it. Why are you lecturing people still watch you on trolls? Your comment section has been people trying to help you. I don't know what you're doing. This is a logical fallacy from beginning to end. First off, me sharing my thoughts in a comedic manner, making a bit out of trolling the trolls, is me expressing something that I'm going through in the way that I best know how to do here's the thing in order to troll the trolls oh yeah let's troll the trolls dude that's so epic you need to be funny and that is something that you're not you're not a comedian you will never be a comedian you're not funny no matter how many classes you take on how to be funny no matter how much money you have and no matter how much money you pay people to teach you how to be funny you do not have a funny bone in your body okay i'm sorry dude you're just not it <laughs> you had a good thing going you should have just stick to that i don't know why so many people have good things and they fuck it up and you cannot take jokes you're legitimately a pussy who gets offended over everything i don't know who told you you were funny or who was kissing your ass or licking your balls i'm sorry to say you're not funny dude you're on the same list as Emmy schumer my channel and it's going to reflect my thoughts opinions and life experiences with that being said i'm currently literally receiving hundreds if not thousands of messages every week telling me to off myself <laughs> some of my real fans have also been getting the same treatment just for trying to defend me. In fact, one of my fans was recently harassed to such an extent that she had to deactivate her social media. Imagine being a Deaf Noodles fan in 2022. <laughs> this man, every week, he bitches and moans and bitches and moans. Not even in a fun way. All you do is bitch and moan and addressing the new allegations. And the new allegations, which is clickbait, by the way. There's no allegations against him. Besides the criminal activity of making his YouTube videos and being extremely unfunny. That's the only thing he should be addressing. Why I'm not funny, dot, dot, dot. The level of harassment was causing her to relapse and have thoughts of suicide. Well, that's your fault. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Dev Noodles, but I do not feel bad for you. You did this to yourself. You are fucking up your career. You're the one who's clickbaiting. You're the one who's using people for clout. Most of your takes are horrible. It looks like you're bored out of your mind and you don't even want to record videos. And the fans are actually trying to help him. They're like, yo, you should stop doing this. Or please, we miss the old content or we miss the normal content. We don't want to see you addressing quote unquote allegations every week or every two weeks. Like they don't want to see that. They just want to see the news, the irrelevant news. They want to see the new podcast. Papa John's dishes, stupid celebrity drama. That's why people subscribe to you. They don't want to see you bitch and moan. Oh my God, I'm getting hate comments. Oh my God, I'm crying over here. Everyone gets hate comments. You're losing your fans. You're pushing them away. You're just fucking weird, dude. I do not like you. I've never liked you. You kind of deserve this and you should probably retire from comedy. Anyways, I just wanted to bitch and moan about Deaf Noodles for a bit. I just wanted to get all of this greasy gamer out of me, like, oh, out of my chest. I just wanted to push all this anger and put it into a YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching. You're the best and Deaf Noodles sucks. <laughs> all right, peace.